there's this great quote by David Orr, academic architecture is in fact crystallized pedagogy. And to me, I would take it even further than that. I mean, the, the environment we're learning in is part, of, is part of the curriculum. It's part of what we learn. Often when we think, think of the word curriculum, we think of, uh, you know, what's our reading list? Um, but when I think of curriculum, to me, curriculum is a lot bigger than that. Curriculum is everything around us in our learning environment, right? The community is part of the curriculum. And if we really map that out, you know, we start to see how, how big our curriculum is geographically. And, um, and we have to be grateful for that. And I think we have to, you know, we have to respect the curriculum and we need to, we need to recognize the wisdom in the curriculum. Um, you know, just the same way we, we, we recognize and get excited about the wisdom in the texts that we're reading, we need to be excited about the wisdom in the spaces that we're learning from and, and the people who are in those spaces. Community members come onto campus and teach, you know, they share their wisdom, they share their knowledge, they share their expertise and they bring, they bring sort of the, this uh, sort of very real world understanding of, of community issues that for most of our students, or many of our students, are really important and that they benefit tremendously from sort of hearing from that wisdom and that experience. I work most closely in what I do on sustainability with uh, organizations that do, that do work related to the environment or related to food or those kinds of things. And so, you know, when I, when I think about those organizations, I think of a place like Food Matters Manitoba um, on Broadway, just south, of, just south of us here. And I think of uh, the fact that they've hosted over the years, as far as I'm aware, several practicum students from several different courses. I'm not sure in recent years how much they've done. I know in previous years they've done a lot. And, and I know that um, several University of Winnipeg graduates have worked for the organization and, and probably some of them have developed relationships with the organization because of, of their involvement with them when they were students. I think there's a lot of opportunity for us to, to really think about the, the, those kinds of partnerships as, uh, as our organization learning something. In our organization exploring, uh, again, in a very humble way, how we develop relationships um, beyond our walls, right? And I, I think there's sort of the sort of this contested history of universities and, and the role they play within the communities that they live in. And, and one of the things that I've always been really excited about here at the university is, is um, we do seem to have this commitment to to, to want to really. Uh, live in that question and sort of stay in that question and try to, to work meaningfully with that question. Um, I think we, t we can run into troubles if we think we have too many answers to that question, right? And it, you know, in a lot of ways it's okay, so there's this relationship we want to cultivate and it's, it is that, it's a relationship. It's about, uh, you know, finding, finding those spots where there's, you know, mutual benefit, mutual opportunity, you know, shared, shared enthusiasm.